This is the Pixel Watch, and I've been using it and wearing it for the last two weeks, give or take, and I do have one big thing I'm not a fan of with this watch, and that is the way it looks, especially the way it looks on my wrist. I just feel like it looks a bit too tiny, and I'm not a fan of this band. It has never been comfortable for me. It's either too tight or too loose, and I just, I, I've not been comfortable with it. So I started looking for other options of bands, and I came across this a case and a band combined all in one. So this is the SpyGen Rugged Armor Pro case and band for the uh, Google Pixel Watch. And the one thing I really like about it is brutish look of it. I think that this just looks a little bit too clean, too nondescript and inoffensive. I, I do like the more aesthetic, the, the rugged aesthetic of this watch. So let me go ahead, I'm sorry, the, the case, and let me go ahead and open it up and see what the case and the band feel like on the watch. And I'll give you guys a look at it as well. And let's just see how it goes and installs onto the watch as well. So go ahead, open this up. Let's see what we get inside. Very, there we go. So let's see how heavy it is. I'm, I'm, it feels pretty lightweight, but yeah, it's got a little bit of weight to it. The band is quite a lot thicker. So this is, I think, definitely a band that would suit people with thick wrists a lot more. I mean, here's the Apple Watch uh, band right here next to it. This is a standard side Apple Watch band and you guys can see it is definitely just, even though thickness wise, it's only like a few millimeters um, uh, wider, sorry, not thicker. It just looks so much more, even when you look at it side by side. Uh, this definitely has a, it just has much more present. So let me go ahead and put this in. So the case comes attached with the band. So you really don't have an option to just use the band without the case, you have to use both. So I think that that is an interesting choice. I would have liked it to be kind of um, something where I could do both because maybe I just want the band, maybe I just want the case because um, this might end up not being the best option or look for every occasion. So let me go ahead and remove the Pixel Watch band. Just gotta press on there and slide to the left. Let me go ahead and do that. Perfect. And all you have to do is push the watch in. So line this up. I wonder if you go from the bottom. I think you probably have to go from the bottom because it's a little bit wider down here. There we go. That's it. And it, I, honestly, instantly, I, I think it looks better. Um, and I just noticed that this button right here is, uh, come on, focus. Yeah. This button is covered and it's textured, so I think it's gonna be a lot easier to use. Yep, yeah, that is so much easier to use than before. So let me go ahead, put this watch on my wrist and show you guys what it looks like. Uh, I honestly think it looks, at least at initial impressions, looks way better. I have to say this, um, the material is not as flexible as I want it to be. It's kind of really rigid right now. It might just be because it's new, but uh, that is something I'm noticing. It's very hard to get this in. I'm trying my best and it just is, it's so rigid that I'm finding it hard to have it push in. Okay, there we go. It's in. And okay, that, I do, uh, uh, one thing I'm noticing is that uh, the wrist, the strap locker, it gets kind of stuck in the, uh, stuck on the band, so that's nice. So it won't be moving around. That's a nice touch. And this is what the watch looks on like on my wrist now. And honestly, big improvement. Instantly, I am liking this a lot more. It just feels a lot better. I don't even know. I think just having a little bit more of a outer bezel that has just more design elements makes the watch instantly feel bigger as well. For some reason, I feel like the screen is instantly bigger than it was before, even though it's the same exact thing as I was wearing before. That's crazy, I, I don't think I've ever experienced that before. And um, this is what the band looks like on my wrist. It's a, uh, it definitely reminds me a little bit more of the Casio G-Shock vibes. Uh, it gives me that kind of look. It's definitely for a, a more um, outdoorsy, active type. So let me go ahead and show you guys the bottom of the band as well, just to give you guys a look at it. Um, let me just go ahead, flex it a little bit. It does, you know, flex, but it does come right back to its shape. The the side, what does it say? Spygen Inc. in Irvine, California, made in China. 41 millimeter, yeah, the watch is 41 millimeters. So quality-wise, it feels pretty good. It's solid. I don't think that I'll be able to, you know, break it or bend it or anything. Like, I'm putting a lot of force on it here, and it's just snapping back into place. There doesn't seem to be any um, stretching on the um, case here that's discoloring it or anything. So this is definitely high quality and premium. 
the um what else is there that i'm noticing there are nicely elevated ridges throughout the band which i'm guessing will make it easier for yeah because i don't know if the camera will focus on this but if you guys see inside the band there the the little latch you, there is a tiny little grab there yeah a tiny little almost hook like um plastic piece that is meant to i guess catch on to uh the band yes yeah, as you guys can see if i push down on it and mimic it as um the band being there it won't slide down easily it gets stuck on the level so that's nice uh it will it's a, that's something i haven't seen and i do quite like that so this is the spy gen rugged armor case for the pixel watch and it does say it's shock resistant too so let me go ahead and pull it out and see if, what they've done inside the case to make it shock resistant and yeah there's definitely um gaps in inside of the case let me see if the camera will focus yeah as you guys can see there's little gaps inside those case in, inside the case which is going to help with shock absorption whenever the watch drops or you hit it onto things let's go ahead one more thing that i didn't um, pay attention to is how big is that um, bezel over top of the screen? Does it make it more usable? Uh, and by the way, yeah, just look at the button here um, on the side. It's so easy to miss. I just, when I'm using the watch without it, it's a lot harder to get it. But uh, with that uh, elevated button that's also uh, has a ridge to it, it'll definitely make it easier to use that. Let me go ahead and put this in. So as you guys can see, there is a pretty decent lip right above the screen. That is fantastic gives me confidence to use this without worrying about scratches on top at least not easy scratches from just brushing against things all right guys so i'm cutting into myself because i noticed something after i ended this video that i wanted to share which is pretty important and that is that turning the crown is actually a lot more difficult on this case than it was before because of the design elements on the sides, which are pretty much ineffective. They really don't do anything except make it harder to spin the crown. So if you guys can pay attention right here, this, these two little things, they are jutting out for no apparent reason, and they actually make it difficult for me to get around the crown. So it, it means that effectively I have this little tiny section on the top and this little tiny section on the bottom to roll the display, the uh, digital crown. Now I can do it from the top like this, but it's not as fast and it, you know, it, it's like, it's skipping a bit. I can't really get a good grip on it. So that is something I noticed. Not the best thing. I think that that is something you guys should keep in mind uh, when you do buy this case. And Spygen, it's a really easy fix. You guys just gotta lower this a little bit, this, um, this seemingly useless de design element, and you're kind of good to go on that. So that is, a interesting observation I had after I ended the video. So this is the uh, rugged armor for the Pixel Watch. Let me know what you guys think about it. And if you want to check it out, I'll have it linked in the description below. I am very positive about this. And for $21, I think this is one of the best upgrades you can do for your Pixel Watch. Uh, this is a fantastic case and I look forward to using it a little bit more. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one.